Hi, I'm Bill Zwecker, and welcome to another edition of Behind the Scenes, our regular video snapshot of the entertainment scene in the Chicago area. Well, without question, the biggest musical event of the summer hits town Friday, August 1st, as Lollapalooza virtually engulfs Grant Park. There are so many top acts and up-and-coming bands, but clearly the big headliners include Eminem, the Kings of Leon, and Lord. Speaking of music, fans of country legend Lyle Lovett will be sure to be heading up to Ravinia and Highland Park on Friday as the popular singer returns yet again to the North Shore venue, pretty much an annual occurrence. Also at Ravinia the first weekend in August is Heart. They're there on Sunday the 3rd. American Blues Theater is bringing back something truly glorious. Hank Williams' Lost Highway, a really must-see show featuring the music of the iconic Hank Williams. On Saturday, August 9th, Chicago and REO Speedwagon are teaming up for what will undoubtedly be a great joint concert at the first Merritt Bank Pavilion at Northerly Island. For those with very deep pockets, the tickets start at $350. There's Super Chef Rick Bayless's very creative Casca Bell, an evening that's both a play and a culinary four-course treat. Formerly staged at the Looking Glass Theater, it's now being done at the Goodman Theater in the Loop, with performances beginning Friday, August 1st. A very unique premiere will be taking place August 8th and 9th in Grant Park. That's when the Canadian Space Agency, Adler Planetarium, and the Grant Park Symphony team up for The Legend of the Northern Lights, what's being called a combination of symphonic music and a galaxy show. It's certain to amaze. The annual Fiesta del Sol will be happening in Pilsen Thursday, July 31st through Sunday, August 3rd, with all kinds of music, great food, and a huge carnival atmosphere. Don't forget the annual Corn Festival that's taking place at the Community Church of Rolling Meadows. That's on the agenda for Saturday, August 2nd. Also on the 2nd and 3rd is the Wrigleyville Summerfest, one of the city's largest and most popular, taking place where else? In Wrigleyville, and it's all centered on seminary. The Black Harvest Film Festival, showcasing the best of cinema from the entire African and African-American diaspora, will kick off on Friday night, August 1st, and run through the entire month at the Gene Siskel Film Center of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, located on State Street. Finally, we can't forget the Windy City Rubber Ducky Derby, benefiting Special Olympics. Now those little rubber duckies hit the Chicago River for their annual big splash at Columbus Drive and the river. Thanks for visiting Behind the Scenes. For more entertainment news, go to my blog or voices at suntimes.com. I'm Bill Zwecker of the Chicago Sun-Times.